Your educational journey is going to be hard. I can promise you that. There are two paths you can take, the easy road or the hard road. If you choose the hard road, it means you choose to study when your friends are out partying. You start writing your report when the rest of the class don't even know the deadline yet. You're already awake at 5 a.m., on your way to the library when the rest of your friends are still sleeping. If you can find enough focus and motivation to do these hard things, the things that everyone else struggles with, then your educational journey will be easy. The grades will be easy. The scholarships will be easy. But it's a choice that you have to consciously make. You have to step up and take that path. And it will be lonely at times. It will feel like you're the only one doing this. But that's the whole point. The whole idea of this is to be standing at the top of the mountain while everyone else is still at the bottom. Because you took the path that so many people are unwilling to take. Okay, so you know where you wanna be, at the top of that mountain. But why aren't you there yet? Why is it that you're stopping yourself from getting there? Why is it that you just settle for the grades that you're getting? Because doing well at school and university, it's not easy. It's difficult to get good grades. It takes a lot of focus, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of late nights and early mornings. But it's absolutely worth it. You are in charge of the life you live. And when you're in charge, you study hard, regardless of how you're feeling. Whether you're feeling lazy, tired, stressed, frustrated, bored, it doesn't matter. This doesn't stop you. It's the easiest way to turn your grades around. Changing your attitude about your studying. It's when you decide that the grades you're achieving right now are not representative of what you're able to achieve. Because what you'll notice is that these students that are getting the top grades, their attitude towards their studying is completely different to those that are achieving the lowest grades. Attitude is more important than circumstances. More important than failures. More important than successes. More important than money. It's even more important than talent or skill. And we have a choice. Every day. What attitude are we going to have when approaching our studying? You can't change what grades you were given up to now. You can't change the exams that you failed. But you can change the attitude you have towards your studying today. And you know, it's going to be hard. You know there's going to be ups and downs, but that's what's going to make it worth it in the end. If you really wanted enough, when it comes to graduation day, you're going to look in the mirror and say, I did this. Despite all the obstacles and setbacks, I did it. And that feeling you will have of accomplishment and triumph will be like nothing you've ever experienced. It's a feeling you will take with you for the rest of your life. So when it's time to study and your automatic reaction is to fight it and procrastinate, take a few minutes to think about it. Think about what you're doing. That small decision of choosing to procrastinate is you choosing to settle with what you have. Push past it. Study.